Hey guys, um, I'm out sick today. As you can tell, my voice is even worse today than it was yesterday. Um, so you're on your own. <laughs> but I wanted to give you a little overview of what you'll be um, doing during class today. Um, you can go to your modules, and then you'll see the first thing you have posted is the attendance and warm up, which hopefully you've already found because that's where I'm posting this video. Um, but you'll click there and it will take you to your normal old um, warm up form. Uh, but the questions today are a little bit different. The first question is um, asking, are you in person today? Just so I can put in attendance correctly. Um, if you are, click yes. If you're learning at home, click no. That's it. Um, then I give you a rundown in the next two questions of your two assignments today. Uh, you just check that you understand them, and I'll talk about them a little bit more in just a second. And then your last question is a review of an ACE response, because one of your activities today is to write an ACE response. So I wanted you to think about what that should include before you get to it. And then lastly, your reminder is that tomorrow is a virtual day. Um, you will be online at home. And we'll be doing some EOG practice. And hopefully I'll have a voice so you can hear me. We'll see. Um, once you're done with your warm up, and it's crucial that you do it because that's how you're getting your, like that's how I know that you're present, you need to go to the next activity, which should look familiar. It is finishing up that um, chapter 17 Hiroshima activity from yesterday. So it should be working now. For those of you in my first block, we had some problems with Google yesterday. Um, it should be working fine. So no problems there. Go make a copy of the assignment. If you started it yesterday, don't make a copy. Just find it in your Google Docs. And we all left off on assignment two. Um, remember that we've read the articles and you are filling in the author's main claim and their reasons as you go through um, each article. The last thing you'll need to do after you've looked at both articles is this bottom box here. It says to evaluate which author do you think makes his case most effectively and why. So essentially, which side do you agree with based on their evidence and why do you agree with that? Um, is it the yes side that the bomb should have been dropped on Hiroshima or the no side that the bomb should not have been dropped on Hiroshima, um, which is the most logical um, argument? And you'll explain your opinion there. Once you're done with that, make sure you upload and submit your assignment, okay? Um, it's not gonna it's not gonna upload for you. So make sure you do that. You can click on, I don't know if it's a start assignment, you can click that and then you can submit. All right, your last activity, once you finished up chapter 17 is chapter 18. Chapter 18 is really short. Um, the document is attached and it looks just like this. It gives a little background about chapter 18 at the top. I highlighted that, it's really important that you read that first um, because the setting of chapter 18 is not in Manzanar. It takes place a year after they leave Manzanar, um, and it's from the perspective of Woody to a different character. So it's a little bit weird, but it's also really short and a pretty good chapter. Um, then your next assignment is to read chapter 18. I've linked to Sora. Um, a lot of you also have your book, so you can just turn to chapter 18 in your book. Um, and I've also linked the audio here, so you can listen on YouTube if you prefer. It's only 10 minutes, it's pretty short, but no excuses. You need to have read slash listen to chapter 18. And then your final activity or your final assignment is an ACE response answering this question right here. How has, how was Woody impacted by his visit to Japan? Be sure to include details from the text especially regarding how the trip impacted his feelings about Papa as well as his own identity. So how did Woody learn about his family and how did that contribute to him when he visited Japan? And then you submit that and you are 
done for the day. Um, please be nice to your substitute and all of your teachers. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you have questions, I can try to respond to them on Remind. But I think everything is pretty self um, straightforward. And I hope you can hear me in this video. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow online. Bye.